One of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I shoot a video of my dog that I can share with my family and friends and just, you know, a little bit of a brag book because I don't have all this equipment. Well, you know what? You don't need all this equipment and I'm going to show you just how to do it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take out my iPhone 7 Plus, ragingly old school, too much sentimental value. Thank you, Potato Jet. This phone holder that I got from a local camera shop for about $30, plus the laptop I already own, and I'm gonna use iMovies, which is free software for video editing. Okay, so you're asking, what exactly is this thing and do I need it? No, you don't really need it, but what's nice about it is you drop your phone into it like this, tighten it down, it gives you extra stability instead of just holding your phone like this, which creates a lot of shake. This is going to eliminate it. It just makes it that much better. So our next step is to grab our dogs and let's head out into the hills and start filming. Now the next job to do is to take your phone and actually get the shots themselves. Now shooting dogs, as you know, anytime that you've actually tried probably to get pictures and cute videos are ready, it's incredibly hard to do. So really it's more up to the dogs what they're gonna do and you just need to be ready to capture that moment. Now this spot that I've chosen, you can see what I like to look at is what they call like a frame. It's almost like a picture frame that the dogs are gonna come through. Right now I'm lucky enough that they're standing here, but when they run and then they come back again, they'll be running into that frame. So I would be able to hold up my phone and wait for example, Briar over here or Berkeley's doing something and start to film them. Okay, good, you see how they've gone away? Okay, so I wanna get the action of them coming through this trail, possibly over there's this little dirt jump there or whatever. Brittany. Oh, nice, nice, Brittany, nice. That was awesome. You see how she ran from the corner into frame? That's gonna make for a really, really good action shot. Oh, and then these two come tearing through too. Another key feature of making a super cute home video of your pups is use your natural surroundings. I've picked this spot here because you can see I've got a really cool mossy log here, a little bit of moss on this tree, and this one's broken here, and the dogs are over there chewing trees. So what I like to do is I like to bring it into the frame as well. Rather than just standing there shooting the dogs like this and filming them straight out, or add some motion to your video. It's harder to do because that's where this thing comes in handy. So what I'm gonna do here, for example, these guys aren't gonna run right now, but I'm gonna start, actually, Vinny, come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay. What I wanna do, okay, so Briar's gone up there, is I'm gonna start on this mossy log here, and then as Briar comes, bring it up in one fluid motion. Berkeley's kind of ruining the frame there. Briar! And then as she comes, I bring it up. So you get the coolness of the rock, coolness of the nature, and Briar running and looking super cute. Try all sorts of different things like that. Don't be afraid to shoot into the sun. You're just making a video for yourself or for YouTube. Sun, your camera may have some dirt on it. It'll create some lens flaring. It'll give it some character. Cause I mean, really create, that's the secret. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bunch of filming here and then uh, I'll see you back in the studio. Let the bouncing begin. If I can give you one massive piece of advice, this is the secret to a lot of my filming. Film, 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 film. Don't be shy. Don't be trying to just line up that perfect shot. Film, 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 film. I can't express that anymore. Because a lot of times in editing, you're only gonna take like two to three seconds of an entire frame that you shot. Because that two to three seconds is going to be awesome. Leading up to it sucked, leading after it sucked. 
but just that perfect shot is going to be bam for your video. Okay, now that we're back in the studio and we're not wearing any pants, our next step is to actually take the footage from our camera, aka our phone, and put it into our computer and start the editing process. Now I'm choosing to use iMovie because, well, I have a MacBook and it comes free with iMovie. It's been a while since I've used iMovie, so this might be a little bit hacky, but oh well, let's see what we can do here. So that turned out pretty okay, I think, all things considered. I mean, it's really, it's hard not to make a bad video of dogs because dogs are incredibly cute. So uh, yeah, so feel free to give this video a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you're not gonna miss out any of the action that I've got coming up. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or your project's not quite going as much as you liked, Feel free to leave a comment down below. I will get back to you and help you out as much as I can. And uh, that's about it for this video and I'll the see best you in the next one. The advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong.